Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video on 7.2.6. Today we are going to be running encroaching stun and heavy assault path. So the nodes are going to be encroaching stun. So every 20 seconds on the cooldown, you, the attacker is stunned unless you're using a special one or special two attack. And there's also a four side node here. So if you intercept the opponent, your damage is increased by 300% for five seconds. And also heavy assault, if you use a heavy attack, it cannot be stopped by either by you or by the opponent and both of the damage is increased by 500% and there's also going to be two strikes so you cannot quake this path or you cannot ghost this and the final one is going to be under pressure so whenever you swipe back there's a small timer and if you swipe back again within that timer you're going to get this orion debuff on you that will reduce your ability accuracy so you just have to be a bit take it easy on your swipe backs so, having the nodes out of the way, some of the best counters of the path are going to be Captain America Infinity War with a skill champion, Blade as well as Apocalypse when he's attacking, and Magneto against Metal Champions and Rogue. Now also I would suggest you to max your Limber before you go into this path so you can easily deal with that stuns. The boss is going to be Gwenpool again with the Gwen Mastery node which is not too difficult, more on that later during the fight. But before we jump onto the path, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. All of that really helps me out a lot and helps me grow the channel. Now the first fight is going to be against a Cosmic Ghost Rider who is a metal champion so I've brought in Magneto, some other champions you can use here can be Rogue. You can also use magic here, you just have to play slowly until you get to an SP2 and then you can just control his power and do corner intercepts and you will always have a special attack when the encroaching uh, stun timer is going to expire. Blade also works here, you can bring in Blade and you can keep him always to 2 bars of power and with 5x5 five five limber it's very easy to the stun will not even proc on you same goes with doom with all of his specials you can easily just kill him off the whole of the thing is that whenever the timer is about to expire right now the gray timer on the magneto's uh, hp bar as soon as about to expire you can throw a special you can use champions that have a long range projectile so there's a distance between you and the defender and even if you get stunned, uh, stunned the limber will reduce the stun duration and by the time the uh, defender is able to attack you it will uh, the stun will be purified or will be removed and you can easily kill off the defender again here because magneto is, re is a really good option against cosmic ghost rider he's a villain so he gets that uh, armor the permanent armor break on him as well and because i'm running real power i am healing up as well so this is an easy way to take him out just be careful for his sp1 do not push him to an sp2 because that can do a lot of block damage sp1 is the way to go Now next up is going to be a Mephisto. Now this Mephisto is a bit annoying because his AI is more focused on heavy attacks because of the heavy assault node. So I'm just going to bring in a Captain America Infinity War. Now notice I'm going to have a synergy with skill champion to remove any stuns or any debuffs I get and he's sick 200. And also I am going to have, you can also bring in cosmic synergy as well to have armor breaks but I don't have it for this fight. I'm just using a skill champion. So. Just be careful of the aura of incineration from Mephisto. Whenever he has that, just keep him to an SP1. Do not push him to an SP2 because he gets into an overdrive and gets a lot of power and then he can use an SP3. So all you need to do is to just stay back, don't dex much, just parry and heavy. And because of the armored uh, assault, you're going to do a lot of damage. You can also try to do one intercept and then use a parry and uh, SP2 as well, but that requires the best timing. All you need to do is parry and heavy and you can kill him off just be careful about the heavy attack if you block too much he's gonna throw a heavy and that heavy might kill you very easily because of 500 percent extra damage and yes guys that's about it other champions that can work here can be doom as well can also be wasp with the chained heavy attack also uh, rogue can work here also the 
human torch can work here so just be careful and mindful about the timer on the encroaching stun and all will be well only with captain america infinity war if you're running a skill champion it will not proc and you don't have to worry about it Now another great option for this path is going to be Blade. Now Blade can shrug off debuffs faster when he has more bars of power. So what we are trying to do is to get up to 2 bars of power at the minimum the whole time and we are running Limber to its max. So the stun duration is very very small, you barely even uh, feel it, it doesn't even proc. So that's what we are trying to do and because Blade gains power whenever you use uh, the, there are bleeds on the opponents, we are going to use that to our advantage and we can kill off quick here very very easily you just have to play a little safe just make sure that you're hearing as well you keep your hp to 71 so even if there are any aftershock charges that don't kill you off then you can easily build up again once you have her at two bars of power try to keep her at two bars of power because uh, sp2 is way easier to evade just there you notice i got stun vegan crunching stun but barely half a second because i had one bar of power and i have max limber so that is another way to go and you can use that as well other champions work are also mentioned on the side it's all about controlling your opponent's power and be able to throw an sp1 or sp2 when the timer on the encroaching stun expires Now another option on this path is going to be Archangel. Now Archangel is perfect for this path because of Heavy Assault and because of Heavy Assault the damage on the Neurotoxins is also increased and as well as SP1 is long range projectile so whenever the encroaching stun is going to expire you can go back and uh, can just use an SP1 from a distance even if you don't connect with it you can easily have enough distance to block again whenever the defender tries to retaliate after your special one. So Archangel is like really good, I would go as far as saying he's a cheese for this path. So if you have him, bring him in, he's going to melt all the defenders very, very quick. Next fight is going to be against a Sabretooth. Now with his healing he can be a little bit of problem because of a sustained long fight. So you need to bring in champions that can either intercept so you can get that foresight or you can do use heavy attacks with that extra damage and can have heal blocks. So in my case I am going to do it with Archangel. I've also done this fight with Warlock and I've also done this fight with OG Vision. Both are doable and sustainable. With Vision you can just use your SP wounds and corner him and keep him heal blocked and keep intercepting him. And also the fight goes really quick and same goes with Warlock. You can just parry and heavy and the, the, neuro to and the uh, toxins from him can heal block him. You can also use uh, Hyperion here and just spam SP1 or you can use Captain America Infinity War with those SP2 so all of them work against him and you can kill him off. So for this path you can either bring in the champion that is a good interceptor, uh, interceptor to use foresight or you can also bring in champion that focuses on heavy attack both of them work and you can also bring in champion that can shrug off debuff so that will be good for encroaching stun so it's uh, you have a lot of choices on this path.
and the final fight before the boss is going to be a red skull now he's also a metal champion so i'm gonna bring in magneto and i'm gonna use a sp3 with 40 prowess charges and let him bleed out now because he has a lot of armor charges and with every sp1 he gets more armor i would suggest you to bring in either a champion that can nullify so somebody like doom somebody like dr voodoo or even somebody like who can do armor breaks very easily so Corvus Glaive can work as well or the usual you can bring in Captain America Infinity War with a skill to uh, remove a encroaching stun and you can also bring in a um, Hyperion with him or any cosmic champion to have armor breaks as well. So it's your choice you want to bring in. I try to bring in different champions to showcase different type of abilities you can use on every path. So you don't have to, you can build your team around Captain America Infinity War. You can either bring your, uh, build your team around Magneto or Blade or you can take one champion that can run the whole path and you can build your team around it. So it's your choice guys. And that's we drop. That's how we drop Red Skull and I'll see you on the boss fight. So as soon as the fight starts, there are going to be the first phase, Emma Frost Insulated Legging. So in this phase, all you try to do is to give her 4 prowesses. Now the way you do prowesses is, you have to push her to an, uh, 1 bar of power when you don't have any power on you. So the best way is to do it is to have a 1 bar of power and when she's about to get one, you dump your power by using an SP1 and you give her a prowess. Now already I've given her 2 prowesses. The only pet peeve here is going to be that you, you're going to be reverse controlled when she uses an SP1. Now because I'm using Professor X, I am immune to that, but other champions you will be you will be uh, mind controlled and the controls will be reversed. If you check out my other videos, I've used champions that deal with it. So the best way to deal with the reverse control is block the first hit and swipe the second and you will do just fine. And if you bring in a tanky champion, you can get out of this phase very, very quick. Now as soon as the second phase is there, it's this is called Killmonger's Royal Necklace. So now don't do what I did that I tried to hit her in her block. And because of that, she retaliated with a counter punch. You will notice what I'm trying to do. I will bait out her special one and then use 5 hit combos. Uh, every 5 hit combo and intercept, the timer of destruction is paused for uh, 3 seconds. Uh, so, keeping that in mind, all I'm trying to do is to parry right there. And then I'm going to use a 5 hit combo ending with the medium. And that will pause the timer. And then I will go back in. I will try my best to keep pushing her mode to SP1 so she can use that and I have to intercept very less. But every now and then I will do an intercept, I will just do 4 hit combos, swipe back and wait for her to come in and then go back in. So that will help you manage the timer easy and you don't have to do much intercepts. I think in this whole phase I just intercepted twice and I was just using parry and 5 hit combos and with SP uh, baiting her SP1 out and retaliating and I was very comfortable doing that. Now once that is down, the next one is going to be Invisible Woman's Wedding Ring. So there's going to be a large bubble around Invisible Woman and there, it has an HP on it you have to bring down with hits. Now this is the phase where you use your special attacks to bring it down faster. So again, when she uses a special attack, she's going to go invisible and you won't be able to hit, you will going to miss. So either you need to bring in champions that can uh, bypass the miss. So in my case, that is going to be Professor X. I would suggest you to bring in bleed champion so if the uh, if she is bleeding before using an SP1 by the time she will finish her animation she will you will be able to hit her again so bleed champions also work here so what I've done I've built up to an SP3 and then I'm going to use my SP3 on her and then chain it with an SP2 and SP1 so that will do all the damage and the shield will be destroyed very faster so Think about champions that do a lot of damage on their specials like Colossus work really well here. Also SP2 with uh, Nick Fury. So there's quite a few champions you can use and you can do that damage and remove that shield. And just like that we have destroyed that plot armor and she will use an SP2 damage herself. And we are into the next one that is going to be Doom's favorite hoodie. Now here 
you need to knock her down in four different ways the first one is going to be heavy attack so i just used it and i'm just going to use an sp1 right away and then two and then i have to use sp2 and sp3 to knock her down now i've the best way to do here is to use heavy first then sp1 sp2 sp3 in that way because every time you knock her down you get energized that will increase your power gain per, uh, by 45 percent so it's much easier to get through the uh, this plot armor within the time and get your sp3 as well so that is uh, so one thing just know be careful do not let her use a heavy attack while you have the shock on you because she will stun you and she will do damage to you so just be careful about that and once you have that down it's a uh, pretty easy plot armor to get right there I got stunned because I let her use a uh, heavy attack while I had shock on me so that's why it did quite a few damage on me but that's okay we're gonna use an sp3 and we're gonna destroy this plot armor and on to the next one Next one is going to be Arcus Retro Cape. Now you will notice there is an armor break timer just below Gwen Master's, Gwen Master's HP bar. So whenever that is completed, you will notice there is a red armor break that I get on my side. So all I need to do is to build up those into 10. And the way I build up is to create a distance. As long as I'm far away from him, the timer goes off and I get armor breaks on me. Once I have done armor breaks, I have to knock her down and that's how the plot armor is destroyed. Now I do die here. So I will come back with Nick Fury and I'll do the same. Now the way I do this uh, this plot armor is I keep baiting her special ones out and I keep throwing my special ones because of the animation and the distance that helps me have all of those uh, uh, armor breaks in quick succession. So I will try to intercept here and there because uh, I have to pause the timer. If I don't, then this timer goes by really fast. But once I have specials, I will throw them. So right there between the animation, I just got two armor breaks. Same when she will use a special one, I will get another armor break. So like this, it's very easy to build up to 10 armor breaks and still have a lot of destruction timer on you. And once you do have 10, just knock her down. And that is the end of this armor and she will throw an SP2 and damage herself. And the final one is going to be Iron Man's Flashy Aviator. She will have armor ups that you need to dispel. There are two ways. You parry, light, light, light and end with a light combo. So parry four lights, you can remove it. Or if she uses a special attack, do not uh, parry or you like there. So if you hit her, you will be auto blocked. So you just need to wait for her to use a heavy attack, swipe back and use a heavy again. And that how will remove that armor on her. You can also use armor break champions. So, un so until she is armor broken, she cannot gain more armor. But the best way is to parry, light, light, light. And if you use a heavy attack, you go again, uh, retaliate with the heavy after you he uses a special one. Do not hit in her once he uses a special attack, otherwise you will be auto blocked. And once it, that's down, it will uh, it will go back to the first one that is going to be Emma Frost insulated legging. So it just defaults back to it until you kill her off. And yes guys, that's about it. You just build up the prowesses and here you will notice how I am going to deal with the reverse controls as well i'm just gonna stay back and wait for your special block the first one swipe the second and that way you can build up your prowess easily on her and you can kill her off i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're looking for more in-depth explanation of this fight check out my 7.2.6 easy path for completion that was the first video i did on this it has more in-depth details and infographics so i hope that helps you out and before you go guys make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications only two paths remaining mix master is coming up next and apart from that guys i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time